everybody, we're in the warehouse and it's time for another uh, box opening video. So um, I'm going to start this one out with another quick little thing. Um, this is nothing super fancy and we've opened these things before. Um, but since I've got it here, uh, I think I feel this is a good way to start this video before uh, getting into the stuff from Young mm -hmm. Japan. So this is another box of control panels from Alberto. I've been talking about him a lot lately, uh, just because I really love his work and I, I really like supporting it. Um, but I had to do a quick little rush order of Vulix L panels. So I got this one. This is just two Vulix L, two L. Uh, I don't know if they're eight button or seven button. Uh, Sorry. So, anyway, let's get these open and we'll take a look. And um, then we'll move on to the more interesting stuff. Which should be coming in at home in about a week. As usual, we've got this perfect size box. They're super convenient. We've got our screws here for it and two panels. We're gonna just pull one of these out. These are these are eight button. It looks like. But I'm um, getting ready to install these in a cab. All right. So there they are. They're just like the one L ones that were on one of the previous videos. It looks like we've got these corners are a little bent there, but I'll uh, I'll bend that back. It should be fine. There we go. And I'm gonna come on over here, kind of take a look at these cabs that I'm putting these on here. Um, this one's the wiring's a little chopped up on it, but um, I'm doing some restoration. And uh, this is what you would see if you just got one of these from Alberto and dropped it straight onto a cab. Looks nice, so that's that. And um, we will be back in a sec with uh, some more cool shit. Back and I'm just, uh, I just got this box in and I wasn't, I wasn't really going to open this originally, but um, I sell them by from... Uh, focus stack, but they're my go-to for any buttons and joysticks, so I just kind of wanted to, you know, they've, they've always treated me well, so I kind of wanted to um, do a little bit on this as well. So in this one, I've got a couple extra joysticks. I don't know if I got any extra buttons, but I got some joysticks specifically for Alberto's panels. Um, and I've also got the set of joysticks and buttons that I'm intending to install on that um, Mortal Kombat panel that I got from him. So I'll be showing that off, I think, like either in a later video or, or, um, or some pictures. But um, yeah, for now, I just wanted to open these up real quick and give a shout out to Focus Attack, who has always provided us with good buttons and joysticks when we need them. So uh, in the box here, we've got, got some buttons here, got some buttons here. These are probably the sticks. So I decided for the Mortal Kombat panel, and I'll go in depth on this more when I actually do it, to um, to get regular Sanwa buttons um, instead of the concave buttons, which honestly they're terrible. I hate them. Uh, so we've got those there. We've got some some ball tops for the regular sticks there, and some bat tops for the Mortal Kombat. Like I'll I you know I'll, I'll go with the the Sanwa buttons, but I I got the um, the bat top there uh, just to give it a little bit of that original feel for Mortal Kombat and again we'll we'll look at that a bit more um, whenever I do a video on that um, but there's that I'm gonna open up the sticks here and for once I've got an actual knife let's see here I'll find the easiest way to cut this open there's nothing really special to see this, but... Ugh. Yeah, no, I really should mount this when I do it, but I just got four LS32s, good old regular stick. Um, all of his uh, panels come with come with the mounting, or that for this mounting plate specifically. And since all the Vulixes, they, you know, the sticks don't have them, 
Uh, it's, it's usually why I recommend people to just buy their own buttons and sticks if they ask for an Alberto um, repro. Cause, and, I'll, and I'll just keep the, the ones that are on there because you're going to have to get stuff for it anyway. So anyway, just wanted to show that and give a shout out to Focus Attack before we get into the um, actual Japan import stuff. Uh, I think it's not very big, so you know, just a little something to fill it in. We'll be right back. Everybody, uh, just back again because uh, we I noticed this bit of cardstock that we got was a uh, was not what we expected as for what looks like to be the football game. So we're just going to open this up and check this out um, before before getting into the rest of the stuff that comes in tomorrow. So any of this uh, cardstock for for any of the Sega game, honestly. Probably the Konami games too are impossible to get the card stock. Um, it's really hard to come by, so I've been stocking up as much as I can, and we're hoping to find solutions down the line that um, that will allow us to, you know, at least use our printers and kind of mass, you know, be able to still support those machines. Oh Jesus! Yeah, oh Jesus is right. And yeah, actually, you know, looking the at this, the picture showed like it had a case. This is um, this is actually different. Cardstock. You can you can see it's very shiny because the Fatista cards are yep. extremely foil. So this is this is different than what we were um, than what we were trying to get. I'm I'm not even gonna look at the list and try to see if uh, they maybe sent the wrong thing. They might have just sent something extra. But um, since this is different than than like the Card Maker or um, Card Connect, Card Connect or the what's it called, Kimono Friends, all that stuff, Fake Grand Order, Concole. Uh, I just wanted to open it and kind of look at this cardstock. I'll be doing videos on all of those, so... Um, Double-sided foil. The only shine, super shiny on one side, not hmm, so shiny on the back. Interesting. Yeah, since we're going to be doing um, videos on those cabinets, I figured um, we'll just kind of slip this into the, the opening video. And, yeah, you can and see it's so. much more obvious when you have... Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're definitely... So that's very interesting cardstock. We're, no, we're not going to open anymore. We'll just stash that for now. But, uh... Yeah, okay, that's it. Just, uh, we'll be back in a sec. All right, we're back, and I've got my friend here to open up. Yes, hello! You may remember him from previous videos. Um, and he doesn't know what's in any of this, and I've conveniently forgotten. Um, I just know that this box is probably part of, or all of, a fursuit that I got off Yahoo Japan. Um, Maybe a couple it's pounds? It's a It might have some extra stuff in there. Because, like... It has a really big tail, and I feel like... I don't know, that one's pretty heavy. Maybe it's all stuffed in here, so... Anyway, um, this was super cheap. It was something... I think it was even under... It was a little over, like, a thousand shipped. It was ridiculous how cheap some of this stuff goes for. But, um... Bubbles. I picked it up because I thought it'd be kind of cool to, uh, to check out. a box in a box! My favorite! Um... There's a lot of really neat uh, suits come out of Japan, so this is, you know, most of this is going to be, you know, this is all personal, but um, any business stuff, we'll, we'll find in here probably. I see furry. Yep, there's lots of fur. Guaranteed to be fur in this box, like there's nothing else it could be. It's uh, stuffed in there pretty good. That's a tail. That's a tail. That That's is a, that is a big tail. So it's probably all in there. Big tail. That is a big, big old tail. Yeah, no, I think this is all, yep, this is all suit. These are hands. Where's the head? Or feet. Or feet. Those are feet, I think. There's a head somewhere here. No, there isn't. Oh, no, you're right. There's a neck hole. Yeah. It's interesting. What's the inside of that made of? Let's take a look. Because that's not, that's it's not like what I'm used to the, seeing. It's like, yeah. Jacket fabric. Yeah, well, that's going to be fun in the summer. Yep. I mean, it's a it's a suit, but... Yeah, no, that's interesting. I've never this seen it, seen, seen one lined inside. on the inside like that. Of course it is. It looks, yeah, it looks, it looks comfy. But, uh, okay. this goes to the couch. Let's see what we got here. I give a pull. We got some... Oh. That's okay. a water bottle, don't worry. Yeah. Empty water we got bottle. some big old feet. We got probably Crocs in here. That seems to be the standard, um, kimono suit is... Nope, it's actually not Crocs. It's, it's, uh... They're like flip flops, and there's the head. It's a big old dragon head. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a budget suit. I thought it was kind of cool to to pick up and check out. So throw that aside. 
DVR slippers? Yep. I'll save this box for now. I'll probably repack him for later because we're not going to do anything with with this for uh, for a month or so. Go you ahead and drop this. pretty easily in these? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it has no no tactile response to it, you know. Yes, but you have, you have extra you know extra shoe size for your bracketing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, throw those in. Let's put this box up here. We have another special guest here who. Um... Hello. Oh. Who is originally coming on to find out where the plastic bags were stored? We've Something got another box, and this is probably all the interesting stuff that uh, everyone watching this video probably actually wants to see. Okay. One of these in here, there's a sign yeah. that um, that I think you'll in particular like. I'm sorry. There we go. You know, you don't have to use it as a knife. Those are scissors. Yeah. I like knifing though. But what if I like spooning? Is that a knifey spoony game? Mm, we need a fork though, really. Or a knife and spork? Ah, yes, it is a spork. The spork completes us all. Oh, come on. Careful, don't cut yourself with that. Hey, where's the actual knife? I see how hard you're. Um. My actual knife is probably in my bag in the car right now. We're getting ready to go work at the warehouse, and this is just kind of a last minute uh, little thing. So all my shit's already packed away. But uh, yeah, we got a couple boxes of stuff Four here. Million cards, I assume. Yep. Uh, so this is, those aren't, I think these aren't sealed. Uh, that might be Let's sealed. Whatever it is, it's a bunch of, bunch of these, um, what are, I think it's the starter packs. Uh, no, no, they're booster packs. Booster packs, no. Okay, cool, yeah, no, it's so like, these are, these, I, I think I paid too much for these, but, uh, it was 100, 200 something, I think. It wasn't, it wasn't that much, now that I think about it. But yeah, anyway, obviously, as much of this stock as we can get, I'm gonna get. I don't care if it's Lord of a Million, one, two, three, four, whatever. Like, just any stock that we can get Lord of a Million, good. three? Slip pack? Apparent, oh, slip packs, yeah, apparently. So this one's actually probably Lord of a Million, four. This but, one's probably, uh, so yeah, might, we're, we're working forward towards a future where I can actually have get-togethers to play Lord of Vermilion and have cards. So here, there's a couple packs of those. I think it got eight cards. We got some Battle Conductor cards because we've got a uh, Battle Conductor comes in a container tomorrow. Um, and I wanted to have those here so we could do some testing, see what they do with the machine, make sure that stuff works. Um, and I think, as far as I know, none of us have Battle Conductor cards already. I didn't, realize, I didn't even know they printed cards. Yeah, this, these card come connect. out of the Card Connect. Oh! Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I see Suguru. So yeah, we'll bring those with us um, so that we have that ready for tomorrow when we unload that container. Grab those. Should we open these? Uh, go for it. Okay. I don't remember what any of this shit is. You don't know what any of it is, so... Looks like electronics of some sort. Um, this one... Should we go for something else that's easier open? All right, you should go for it. What is that? Oh, so yeah, that's this is what I thought you might like. It's a it's a uh, lit sign for a uh, mahjong club. Yep, I do. I recognize it. So I wanted to put this up in the loft if I ever get a mahjong table, auto mahjong table. So Vulix uh, front table. Yep, lights. I got those. Be and actually, I need to bring those to the warehouse too. I need to swap them onto a cab. Like these are these are just really good spare parts to have. Yep. Um, that's for sure. Yeah, no, because like, well, those usually get replaced by some like ugly, garish card reader frequently, or um, or if I convert one from fast I/O back to JVS, we have another um, plate in a Taito I would want to take the I/O board of yeah. some sort. That's the that's the oh, Vulix yeah. versus board. Oh, Vulix versus board. Ah, oh, because it's got like a splitter. Yep. And, oh, that's super splitter cool. Splitter and audio yeah. splitter, and it looks like so that just mounts into a Vulix and it splits um, audio video, and it has a JVS link for um, linking the second JVS. To it. I usually don't use it at all except for splitting video just because Does um, it actually have a JVS link? Yeah, JVS well JVS linking um Or is it just like a pass through? Link? It's a it's a pass through for the second one, but JVS linking introduces lag as far as I know anyway, so it's not something I like to do. These are just some NESYS routers and switches. Um not really used anymore, but like they're just basically a a cool thing to throw on the shelf. Um the original routers for that. Nothing too special there. 
This is easy. Yeah, I saw this and I was like, I gotta have it. Is it ditto? Um, it is yeah, it is ditto. ditto. Um, I'm probably gonna put that in the guest room. It's perfect. Is it's it a, beautiful. Is it a, is it a pillow? Yeah, Amazing. it's super beautiful. Oh, Look at that. I Look how cute it. it is. I, I it. know it's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> right, how, how do I open this without damaging it? Uh, this side. Um, or yeah, yeah, that would probably good. So this is a Niku poster. I believe this is the um, this is actually a banner. Um, technically. But it should be the um, the Project Diva Arcade one, Ooh. not the Future Tone one. The Project Diva Arcade. That didn't work so well. Nope. We should have done here. <laughs> yep. Yes, we should have. Oops. And this is why I let you guys do it. This is boring if I do it. Yeah, but what if we stab your poster? That's fine. Go well, then, the uh, then it has added character. It adds to the patina of the arcade. Or the other response is, then I step you. Okay. Oh, is it actually a poster? Oh, it is actually. Okay, it's an actual poster. Should we open it? Yeah, why not? This side's open. This whole side's open. Huh. Alright, this is... Oh, yeah. Definitely the original P. Diva poster. So, yeah, I think I have too much... Project Diva stuff to display by the Project Diva. I'm probably going to have to pick and choose, but uh, this is a good contender. I'll probably put it on one of the sound barriers by it or something. I've got the tapestry for the other one, so. It's for some beat. Yeah. All right, so I guess that's it that I've got to open for all of this. I know it was a little bit of a uh, spread out little collection of things and this and the, the previous couple clips, but. Um, yeah, I just want to get that done before we head it out and um, see you guys in another month or two uh, with another opening. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.